The managing director of Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority, NSRA, Aminu Sadiq, on Tuesday in Abuja, has disclosed that the agency invested over $500 million in domestic infrastructure as well as over $1 billion in what he termed third-party investment. Aminu Sadiq disclosed this at an investigative hearing by the House of Representatives and her committee investigating the activities of the NSIA since its inception. Uh, one of the valuable value additions of the NSIA has been the ability for the country to utilize our capital to catalyze additional capital into Nigeria to undertake complex consequential infrastructure projects. We'll go through those in detail, but these projects span healthcare, agriculture, energy, renewables energy, um, financial markets infrastructure, over seven or eight different companies that we have conceptualized, developed, capitalized, hired for, and each of them are partaking in disruptive activities within the sectors that they were, um, that they were created to undertake within. In addition to that, we have developed and co-developed over 10 institutions and platforms to improve the financial market ecosystem. To name a few, uh, we created a company called InfraCredit, a financial guarantor that motivates domestic capital from pension funds into the infrastructure sector. Similarly, the Nigerian Governors Forum, NGF, as well as the Association of Local Government of Nigeria, Argon, also made their submissions before the committee. Of this project, to the best of our knowledge, can be seen or be prepared by the local government. They have spoken very well on partnership with communities. And my question is that, how do you partner with the communities that local government. We have spoken well about net delivery. The one that is within the purview and the remit of local government is probably net care. Your investment is to state governments, hospitals, and not local government hospitals. We have spoken well on schools. Our own jurisdiction is probably education. I've not seen one proper education. And I've seen from this chart 13,500 and 4,000 houses under construction from whom who will be the beneficiaries. Sometimes last year, uh, we have to request that the NSI make a you know, uh, presentation to the states, to the government's forum, and the Minister of Finance at the time led the delegation and the main presentation just to get an update of what they are doing and all of the uh, projects that they are handling. And I can tell you that we are satisfied with that presentation. We have no problem whatsoever with the NSI. Uh, they made presentations, we knew where all the projects are located. Uh, because what you have to understand that the government, the country as we speak, runs the federal system. And we have two federating units in this country, the federal and the states. I'm sure you know that that's clearly stated in the Constitution. And uh, the local government is not a federating unit as of today. It could be tomorrow if the Constitution is amended. At the point that Nigeria is now, there is need for transparency and accountability from everybody in public office. And that's why this investigative hearing is needed. Um, like I said, it's not to castigate, condemn, we show it. It's just to set the record straight for Nigerians to know what is happening. We know you have invested a lot of money into our infrastructures and a whole lot of projects that are all over the country. However, it's good for Nigerians to know what is going on. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.